Hey guys, welcome back to another live trading video. Going to be jumping into a dollar Canadian trade breakdown here. Uh, I'm gonna talk first though about the actual trade setup and why I initially got into this position and then we're gonna take a look at the charts and see how things are going so far. Uh, so this is a trade that I did share inside of the A1 trading community. Hey traders, before we get into this video, I wanna talk about the biggest sale that we do every year, which is the Black Friday sale. We're doing 40% off of our trading community. If you're not familiar with it, basically I share my trade alerts. We have a couple different professional traders in there sharing their trades and details as well as an open chat room and we do live webinars for members we've got educational material and a whole bunch more perks available to members inside if you'd like to get access to that for 40% off use the link down below in the description and use code YTVIP to get 40% off your membership if you're watching this at a later point though send a message to Emily at a1 trading and she is going to be helping you there should be contact information here on the screen for to send a message to her in case you are watching this at a later point and you'd still like to take advantage of some sort of discount. Let's go ahead and jump into this breakdown here on Dollar Canadian. Uh, so basically, I took a short at the end of last week, basically on the the idea of uh, the kind of the fundamentals coming in as well as the technicals. So I'm gonna break down first sort of the fundamental side. So I'm short here on Dollar Canadian, I said with a relatively tight stop and small position, I like the breakthrough support, lower high series, and I think that with Biden leading the polls in the US, uh, that the US dollar could come down stronger. And the reason I said that I potentially think that that could be the case is he could be looking to push stimulus packages a little bit more aggressively. Now, if that happens, that means we have to print money and printing money makes the US dollar theoretically go down. Uh, so that was my idea, that was my theory. So which that, as I mentioned, could cause the US dollar to come down and potentially push stocks higher, which uh, fast forward to today, we actually see stocks flying high and so far the US dollar has come down really strong. So, so far this analysis has played really well and I'm gonna go uh, and show you guys exactly how things have gone since then. So there's the initial trade idea. So basically low Lower highs coming in here, you can see I circled them in red. And on the break of this key support, I jumped in short. Now you might say, well, Nick, that looks like you just jumped right in, uh, you know, not at a great time. But for me, the timing was not so much as important as I wanted to see some sort of sign of weakness from buyers in order to jump in on the short side. Now, one more key piece of information here is actually retail traders are heavily long on USD CAD, which made me more inclined to actually jump in on the short side, which is exactly what I did. I think this was last Thursday. I jumped into this position on the short side. So let's take a look at the uh, MetaTrader, uh, MetaTrader view here and see what's going on. Uh, so you can actually see that there's the trade so far. Uh, we did get those liar, lower highs like I mentioned. And then the break of this key support zone is really what got me into the trade. Uh, you can see my initial short position right here, my initial stop right here back above structure. You can see uh, we had you know just a, a little bit above that. I had my stop loss in case price decided to reverse. Fortunately, it did not and we actually have seen price move lower here going into today's trading. Today is Monday at the time of, of uh, filming this. And we actually see, just for reference, let me see if I can pull this up as well. We can pull up the S&P 500. Take a look, as just I mentioned, uh, it doesn't always work like this. Of course, you know my analysis is not 100%, and nobody's is, but I did say that I think that stocks could be posed to go higher. Now, we also had another thing that happened today, which actually really helped my situation, which was uh, news on a vaccine was very, very prominent today in the headlines, which caused stocks to go up, which also caused uh, the US dollar seemingly to go down as people moved from the US dollar to the Canadian dollar here today. So that so far, all coupled together, has set me up for a decent trade. Now, I didn't predict all of this perfectly. I'm not some sort of magician, but what I did do is I took my trade. I had a decent risk to reward opportunity here and I decided to take it on the break of that key support. So when price broke support, I jumped in on the short side. You can see again, my entry being right around here. Uh, I jumped into the short side of things. Uh, it took a little bit of heat on the trade as price went against me, but overall the sellers were able to continue to push things lower. And again, retail is very, very long in this market right now. Retail traders are buying this thing, thinking that it's going to go higher and it very well could from here. Uh, but my point is, I am not trying to predict exactly what's gonna happen. I am just going to be going with the trend here. And as we broke through support, I took my short, and so far, so good here. Let's see if we can take a look at the one hour chart, get a little bit better of a view here. Uh, so again, ended up taking 
a short position. I believe it was right around this area. I can't remember exactly when I got in, but I ended up taking the short and I used this tool here to track where my initial stop was. So my initial stop was here uh, and I've moved it since initially to break even this morning, but by the time I got to the office today, we had hit 2R on the trade down there. You can see it hopefully if we zoom in a little bit. Uh, 2R on the trade there and that has caused me to move my stop up to about one hour locked in on the profit side of things. So that is a very good situation to be in. From here, it is not a matter of whether I make money or not, it's a matter of how much money does the market want to give me. So if price continues to push lower, then I will continue to move that stop up and lock in more profit. But if we do get a reversal, which you know we'll see if that happens, it should be interesting to see. I'm not exactly sure what's gonna happen. More so important to me is I've locked in my stop and I'm letting the trade play out no matter what it wants to do. If price comes back, we will close out the trade for a one R gain, which is not bad at all. Nice. One R, I had some questions about this, basically meaning one times my initial risk. So if I risked $200 initially, this is a reward of $200 locked in uh, at the minimum here on the trade. So that's what I've got so far here on USD CAD. Hopefully that makes sense. And uh, let's basically pause the video and I'll come back and update you guys with whatever happens next. All right guys, and we are out of the trade there on Dollar Canadian for a nice little profit. Unfortunately for our short position here, uh, we actually saw price turn around and head back up towards the uh, target that or the stop loss that I had put in place. But either way, still happy with this trade. We took the initial short and caught some of the move to the downside here. Across the board, a lot of things reversing today. Let's actually pull up what, uh, what I mentioned earlier, which is the S&P 500. You can see it coming down a little bit here from its initial spike. Uh, we'll see if it comes down any further, but that big green candle here, uh, about 50% filled back the, the opposite direction. So seeing a little bit of a, uh, some give back here today. And back to our dollar Canadian trade again, Caught the short here, had a small initial risk. You can see of about, what is that? About 65 pips or so of risk there. Uh, at one point we were up about 125, 126 pips there, ultimately taking profit right around 70 pips. And this is how sometimes it's gonna be when it comes to trading is, you never know exactly when a trend is going to finish and we'll see if this trend actually ends up continuing to go lower, but I'm just gonna take the profit that I have here uh, because I trailed my stop just as my plan told me to do so. Uh, and from here, it is just a matter of, again, taking that profit moving on to the next trade. It's not something that I'm bummed about or anything like that. We did end up taking profit. And uh, off of last week, we had a really great la last week. I shared some trades uh, on the NASDAQ uh, and then those went really well. And then this week starting off with a nice, uh, nice, nice move there on dollar Canadian for about 70 pips of profit. So not too shabby, good little trade there. Hope this was helpful to you guys. Uh, and if you do enjoy these videos, if you wanna see more live trading videos, the best thing you can do to let me know that is to like the video down below, subscribe, and maybe share the video with a friend. Uh, thanks so much for watching and we'll see you back in the next video. Oh, oh, oh.